Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. I got sick a little bit. You might hear my voice crack, raspy, or I might be losing my voice throughout this video. Who knows? I am working with colorful balloons, unusual colors for me. I am excited to show this balloon garland to you. All of the balloons that I will be using came from Laurendale Paper and Balloon Company. Thank you so much for sending me these balloons. Go check their website out. They have a huge selection of things party supplies for new customers you can use my code anastasia10 for 10 percent off at checkout every single supply every single thing everything i will be using in this video for this balloon garland you guys balloon count everything will be linked in the description under the video without any further ado let's go let's see what we have in front of us we are working with three colors today this is a chrome silver this is squirrel and pearl peach colors in 11 and 5 inch balloons on top of these balloons i want to use this rose gold love foiled balloon it's very very pretty i already used this balloon once in one of the other videos and i love it i want to use it again and on top of all this i want to use a low temperature glue gun 20 pound fishing line electric balloon pump and balloon tying tool I am ready to blow all of my balloons. I am using my electric balloon pump from Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. Love this thing. I will list it in the description under the video. I am working with my 20 pound fishing line. So that means I will be pairing my balloons. So two balloons, blow them at the same time. As soon as I'm done blowing my balloons, I am pressing them against the floor to give them more rounder shape and then tie them together to create a pair of two like this. I will be pairing my balloons color by color, size by size. I might blow some 11 inch balloons individually and I will tie them individually just in case if I would need uh, some balloons to fill in spaces a little bit later. So keep pairing, keep blowing. guys I am ready to build my balloon garland this technique that I'm about to use it's a little bit tougher to explain than usual technique of balloon column and then shaping your balloon garland I am going to try to shape my garland right from the start so I am starting with this coral color first I want to color block uh, the garland again. So I'm taking my fishing line and I am tying my fishing line to my first pair Taking my second pair and basically doing Exactly what I do with every single balloon garland Putting my second pair right on top Taking my fishing line and wrapping my fishing line around one of the newly placed balloons pinching my two pairs tightly together and pulling on my fishing line again around another newly placed balloon pinch my pairs with my fingers and pull on your fishing line be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line because fishing line and curling ribbon can't cut your balloons and they will start deflating okay taking my five inch balloons right on top again now, you know what? I am changing my mind. I am going with 11 inch as well as my third pair, right on top, doing exactly the same thing, pushing my pair as close as I can to my previous pair, wrapping, pushing and pulling, wrapping, pushing and pulling. Now, I am taking my five inch instead of putting it right on top as i usually do i am putting slightly on a side not slightly but literally on a side and doing exactly the same thing wrapping and pulling on my fishing line again wrapping around different balloon pulling on my fishing line 
If you see, starting to see gaps like this, you can take your fishing line and wrap around every, every pair of balloons that you have so far and your gaps will close. Again, another five inch pair right on top, closing this gap over here as you can see, right on top, wrapping pulling around a different 11 inch balloon, push, pulling on my fishing line a little bit to secure that um, 5 inch pair, again around different 5 inch balloon, pull around different balloon and pull, that gun, that's going to give you this tighter uh, balloon garland look. Now again, taking my Let's go with 11, right on the side where I think it needs to go. Looks pretty good. Again, push your pair as far into the garland as you can. Take your fishing line, wrap it around the balloon, pull on your fishing line and push your pair as far as you can. Around newly placed balloon again, pushing, pull. Taking my fishing line and wrapping around random balloon on the side, push and pull, again, around random balloon, push and pull. So that's how I'm going to build this balloon garland, kind of randomly placing my balloons. I hope it's going to work out. It's going to give you this more organic and more interesting curvier look. After I'm going to finish with this color for a little bit. I'm not going to build or use all of my coral balloons to build this section. I'm going to stop in a little bit and I'm going to switch colors. I just cut this balloon over here with my fishing line and the reason is is just I am constantly wrapping my fishing line around balloons multiple times and you have a higher chance to cut your balloon with fishing line curling ribbon will cut your balloons as well so be careful how hard you push and pull on your fishing line so if you'll ever cut a balloon and you'll hear a sound coming out out of your balloon just twist your balloon like a light bulb until you close that hole in your balloon and you'll be good okay now i feel like it's a good uh spot for me to transition to another color as you can see i've built this little section over here with my five inch balloons and right here starting from here i want to start incorporating these peach color balloons so i think i'm gonna start with 11 inch i'm gonna take my fishing line and reposition my fishing line to the side wrapping around some of the balloons to create that perfect angle for my fishing line okay now it's not starting from here fishing line but it's starting from here that's what i want i'm taking my cluster and i am literally putting it right on the side and i am wrapping like every other balloon pushing pull and i am wrapping my fishing line around a random balloon to secure my different color balloons pair of balloons to make sure this garland won't have any gaps between any of the balloons. Again, another pair finding that perfect spot, putting it right on top, wrapping. As you can see here, we're having this gap and I'm not liking, so I'm taking my fishing line and wrapping my fishing line around those balloons to bring them a little bit closer 
to my peach colored balloons. Okay, looks really, really good. Now let's add some five inch balloons on the side. I am done with this beach color for now. I just wanted a, a tiny section on my balloon garland. I want to start with my silver. I don't want to start silver right here. I want to merge these colors together. So again, I am repositioning my fishing line to the side between my balloons. Let's go all the way to the coral color where I started my peach color right there even lower right there is good so now I am taking my silver balloons and I'm doing exactly what I did with the rest of the balloons your balloon garland cut a long piece of a fishing line hold it with one hand with your other hand take the tail and wrap around one of the balloons now you created this loop over here take the tail and feed it through the loop pull on your tail that way you're creating knots around your balloons and balloons won't go anywhere my balloon garland is ready how i hang all of my garlands i will link a video of commonly asked questions about balloon garlands in the description under this video in that video i answer a lot of questions about balloon garlands and i do show an up close on how i hang all of my garlands using command hooks frame fabric safety pins two ways that you can hang your garlands so go check that video out it will be helpful i did a left a few different sizes colors pairs of balloons on my floor because when i'm going to hang my balloon garland i think that's what i'm planning i want to build certain spots on my balloon garland more bigger and give them more volume i will be using low temperature glue gun to fill in spaces on my garland if you don't have low temperature glue gun you can use glue dots use more than two glue dots per balloon or to be sure that your pairs of balloons your balloons will stay on your garland for a while use more than two glue dots trust me if you don't have glue dots you can use rubber bands rubber bands are a great idea for filling in spaces and i think it's uh, kind of faster in my opinion i don't know i might be wrong if you don't have any glue dots low temperature glue gun or rubber bands you can always use double tape i've never used double tape people did comment and say that they use double tape to fill in spaces it might work so i never used it so i can't really tell you if it works or not people say that it works i am taking my lighting that i'm using for filming everything that i need for my balloon garland and i am moving out out of my filming room to another spot in my house i did ask you on instagram if you uh, want to see different uh, places where I place my balloon garlands to give you more ideas on how garlands will look like for example on a wall or over the window so you're interested in that even though I don't like uh, moving around my house with balloons I'm willing to do that I'm willing to clean my house up more often so <laughs> alrighty guys let's move out to fill in spaces on my balloon garland I'm not gonna do much but this spot over here I don't like this 
empty corner right here and you can see my fishing line even though it's translucent you still can see it right it's not that translucent so i am taking two pairs like these and i am interlining them together to create clusters of four like these quads and i am going to build this spot with the help of my low temperature glue gun i'm going to add only peach color right here to kind of break um, this color coral color a little bit Get a lot of questions about my low temperature glue gun this is the one that i'm using i do have a glue gun um, linked in the description under the video i just put a dollop of glue just like that it depends how much it's going to come out i don't measure and there's no specific amount and right away i am pressing my balloons together and hold it for a few seconds and let the glue set don't let it go right away and let it go and that's how balloons will hold this is the spot where i put the glue i'm gonna add a few more dollops or a couple of dollops like right here and right there to make sure this cluster stays where i want it to stay opportunity to use my eucalyptus i am in love this eucalyptus transforms every single balloon garland into something amazing i am loving 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 what i see i didn't glue my eucalyptus down i just pushed up my stems between my balloons and it seems like it holds really really well Last but not least, I want to add my rose gold love foiled balloon. So one balloon is ready on, second one I'm about to inflate. I am using my hand pump because if you're gonna be using a warm, hot electric balloon pump, you have a chance that you can melt this insert that all of the self-sealing balloons have in them. You can melt it and your balloon will start deflating. So that's why I am using hand pump. It's safer. And here is what I have for you guys today. This is my final balloon garland. I am completely losing my voice. I hope it's going to stay with me just a tiny bit longer until I am done with the final walk through you guys i am loving these unusual colors together the squirrel and peach reminds me of spring so much and this silver part reminds me of winter so it's like a good transition balloon garland from winter to spring in my opinion i don't know i did build this balloon garland with 20 pound fishing line this is a really really awesome technique you guys i am loving this technique i'm gonna bring this technique back uh, in my future or for my future balloon garlands. I want to learn this technique more. I want to get better at it because there's so much more to learn. These silver balloons, you guys, they deflated on me while I was building my balloon garland because I pulled too hard on my fishing line. So that's my learning point right there don't pull on your fishing line too hard to bring all of your balloons closer together you can wrap around different balloons kind of like you know all over and that way you will bring your balloons closer together but don't pull too hard and i don't know just why these silver balloons maybe they are softer they didn't burst on me while i was blowing them or they didn't have holes um, when I was blowing them, I just cut them with my fishing line. Maybe they're softer than the rest of the balloons. I don't know. You guys, the quality of these balloons, wonderful. I love working with Qualitix. It's not the company's fault. It's my fault. I cut them. I did use the low temperature glue gun on this portion of my balloon garland because this corner right here was way too naked so i wanted to close this corner up and it looks wonderful the rest of the balloon garland as i said 20 pound fishing line only you guys this technique is very good for those who don't want to use low temperature glue gun or glue dots or double-sided tape or rubber bands 
just one supply and you can build the whole thing. In my opinion, it's amazing. These love balloons were attached with the help of my low temperature glue gun. You, you can attach them with your glue dots and these branches, I didn't glue them down. I just pushed them between my balloons and they hold really, really good. I tied my balloon garland in three places. One right there, second string right here, and the third string right here and holds really really good you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and everything will be listed and linked in the description under the video and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well this is it you guys this is my take on this balloon garland i hope this video was helpful enjoyable and it was fun to watch if it was you guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions you can leave them in the comment section below and i'll be there to answer them all if you're new here you guys what are you waiting for just hit the subscribe button down below for more inspirational interesting videos and i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye